From Iran? It's a brand new world and you have got to fit in. Can you adapt? Well, chap, it all depends. Cause when your parents relocate to a far off western state, it's a brand new world for Bobak and his friends. Meet Bobak, he wants to be the well accepted kind. Athletic Jay leads the way while Sue Sam speaks her mind. Song Jay jokes with all the folks. And embarrassed, they are cold. want to fit in. of the class and learn the proper way to launch a rocket? <gasps> Newton's third law explains how a spaceship launches. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Since hot gases push out from the bottom of the rocket, the rocket moves upward. I better watch out when I eat beans. Uh... to show you the importance of wearing goggles. What could be wrong? I followed the teacher's manual exactly. I think the tubing's twisted, Miss Pickleberry. Oh, huh, I see. That was really cool. We should build a spaceship after school. Where would we build it? No one's going to want to supervise our messy projects. My Nana's babysitting me this weekend. She's old and deaf. We could have flocks of gassy elephants in the backyard, and she would not notice. Let's meet this afternoon. I'm busy all weekend. Tough meeting today, Amma. We wanted to organize a presentation on Korean PS talks, but ended up arguing about everything. Well, peace is important. People can get worked up. Asa! Gee, stop using your iPad at the table. What was that? It's Appa. He texted me to see if I would bring the newspaper to the bathroom. 
Tell your pa, your children will forget how to talk if you keep on texting them. So we should yell at each other instead? Better than texting. Stop texting! I'm not. I'm doing homework. I'm supposed to write a poem about our family. What rhymes with rice? <laughs> Um, Ma, Hannah texted something mean. No, I didn't. I helped him with his poem. Maybe I should write Hannah eats lice. Ma, Jiggy's writing something mean. Come on, eh? Stop using those stupid iPods. Pull out your iPod, Jay, and tell me your plans for the weekend. Is it something I said? I'm meeting friends tonight to, um, study rocket science, golf practice tomorrow morning, an online match for Galaxy of Gunfire Sunday. Mmm, I'm free Saturday night, too. Maybe we can go to the electronic depot and check out the new operating system for iPods. Jay, Appa, about this weekend, I don't think you and Jay will be able to go to electronic depot. Why? I've got four free hours in between going to the... Oh, no. Is that what I think it is? Why didn't you tell me? Well, I know you don't like a surprise. Harabaji was uh, suddenly invited to a conference in Portland. He thought he might as well visit us for the weekend before he flies back to Korea. That's not a surprise, your Abaji giving into random impulses. There go my weekend plans. <laughs> Abanim. Annyeonghaseyo. Hanna! Harabaji wants to take you guys fishing tomorrow. Achoo! Oh darn. I guess I can't go fishing. There go my weekend plans. There go my weekend plans. Are you sure she's deaf? <laughs> Watch this. Whoa. I know. Let's go outside and build that spaceship. <laughs> <gasps> Isn't that a bad word? I go, don't tell your mama. But it's a But his heart's torn. He loves two women. But he already promised one woman. A man should always keep his promise. Oh, really? Yes, promise me, Hannah. If a boy breaks his promise to you, you should duck. <laughs> I should throw Ojunga at him? Yes! All right! Smart girl! Uh, only girls do that. Here, Appa made this list for us. Why don't we split the list in half? No, no! Together! I think I need to go to the bathroom. Uh, thanks? <laughs> the equipment is so disorganized. Are you sure your grandmother's not watching? She's 
conked out with a thriller on the television. I wish you would turn off the television. The music makes me feel like something bad is going to happen. I'm fine. It was just the television. Well, I have a really cool surprise. We can use my dad's welder for the spaceship. Why would we do that? We're not using any metal. The welder would melt the plastic. Oh. One second. We can attach firecrackers to the spaceship. Why would we build a spaceship only to wreck it? Yeah, I suppose. How about Christmas lights on the spaceship? That's a great idea. <laughs> I remember long time ago when I was young. My parents and I would spend many days taking walks in our village. One day, we passed a table of sweets, and oh, I really wanted one. But when I asked my father, he told me that we just didn't have the money. I was so sad, but my hunger could not be denied. I went to get a treat on my own. Police came. <laughs> Jay, Jay. I was listening. I just couldn't understand all the Korean words. Give me your iPod. What? Give it to me. Jay, help Harabaji. Halaboji English, not so good. Go to chicken for dinner. Halaboji, that's where the car is. Not there. I remember. This way. But it says parking. No, this way. Ah, here. can't find the end. I think that's my foot you're holding. Here, let me help. Lift your leg. Move to the left. Turn around. If we put the Give end the here, end to me. turn around. I should launch the spaceship. You guys can tell me what it's like to fly. Sanjay. All right, all right. We're gonna need new tubing. This one's going to be tubing out of shape. Let's call Jay and see if he has some tubing. Hello? Jay, we need some tubing for the spaceship. Do you think you could come by? Michael, I have to speak really, really fast because my grandfather's here and I don't want him to understand me. I'm coming over in 10 minutes. Did you understand me? Uh, I think. See you soon. Bye. Bye. 
Harabiji, I have to go to Michael's house. I'll be home in an hour. Tell Alma and Appa for me, okay? Thanks. <gasps> I also downloaded a video on how to wire the circuitry for the spaceship in parallel, not serial. Since the flight is so short, I don't think it's necessary to wire them in parallel. And she needs fewer wires with serial circuits. But we don't want to take the risk. With serial circuitry, if one bulb goes out, all the bulbs go out. And I have no clue what you're talking about, so I will put on these big glasses and stand here and look smart. <laughs> I think we should go with Jay's idea, because my dad drops these Christmas lights every year. Well, let's go over the list of equipment first. Safety goggles? Darn, did anyone bring safety goggles? That's weird. There's a whole bunch here. I wonder where they came from. Well, we might as well use them. Are you in a rush, Jay? You sounded like you were in a rush on the phone. Don't worry. I'm not in a rush to get home. Why, oh, why are you gone? I'm worried about Jay. Should we call his friends and see where he is? No, no, no. Don't call. Uh... I know where he is. Guys, I can't hear my music track. Ugh, I'll bet Celine Dion never has to deal with this. If we're going to wait for Jay for dinner, we might as well be entertained. Hadabuchi? You made me feel like dancing. Dance the night away. You made me feel like dancing. Dance the night away. Put that man out of his misery. Dancing. Ooh. Dance the night away. Cha -cha. Hello, Monsieur. You are such a great drummer. Why don't you drum along with our next song? It's beautiful. Okay, men. The moment has come. To your stations. Rocket. Check. Filled with water and cork with parachute. Check. And check. And check. Bicycle pump ready? Check. Confetti ready? Check. Houston, we are ready for takeoff. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Where were you? We were getting worried. We were gonna start making calls, but Harabuji wouldn't let us. I went to Michael's house. Uh, I, I told Harabuji. I even came home earlier than when I told him. Did you really tell Harabuji, Jay? I did. And I just might have told him in English and a little fast. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Hannah, upstairs. What? Why? I was watching my TV show. Jay, Harabuji came all this way just to get to know you. You're lucky he's taking you fishing. I'm not lucky. Pardon? It's not fair. I had all these plans for the weekend, and just because Harabiji wants me to, I have to go fishing? You even complained about how Harabiji wrecked your plans. You're right, but Jay, I want to make it clear that family's more important than any plans or appointments. Well, are you going to ground me? Some of my friends get grounded. No, Jay. We don't want you to stay in your room. We want you to go fishing with the Harabuji. Fine. You're doing this because you're mad at me, right? This is the best time to go fishing. It's so cold. Waste of time. We're doing nothing. Shh. Oh. 
Oh my gosh, I think I got a fish. This is so cool. If we catch four more, we'll have enough for everyone's breakfast. What? After all that hard work? What's that drum you're holding? Ah, Moktak. Moktak, huh? The full moon passes over the pond. The silver fish swims away in the water, and Harabaji flies away in the sky. I'm left alone, but surrounded by memories. I'm finished. Jeez, I hate writing poems. could Michael possibly have done to make this mess? What mess? Oh, I'm glad I'm clocking out before cleanup time. The best thing about being a grandmother is that you can choose your hours. What did Michael do to create this mess? Nothing worse than what you guys did as kids. Okay, later. I'm out of here. Oh, hey, Mikey, next time you build a spaceship, try making the fins more aerodynamical. It'll reduce friction, and the spaceship will fly higher. Dad? What's up? Is Nana deaf? Whatever gave you that idea? She hears like a fox. And just as tricky. Harabaji, behind one, one of these doors, doors is a lovely sports, sports car. car. Which, Which one, one is it? Is it... Door number one? Or is it door number two? Or maybe door number three? It's three! Harabaji, come on. We practice for an hour. Ha, 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 ha! Joking, joking. It's one! Congratulations, Harabaji. You are the proud winner of a sports car. I asked you not to speak Martian on this trip. I had to cancel all my weekend plans. Go-kart racing on Saturn, an expedition to Mars, and we left so early Earth time, and now it's even earlier moon time. I'm so jet-lagged. I said the same things when I was a kid, and my Harabiji took me fishing. Except that I spoke English, and my Harabiji spoke mostly Korean. Your Harabiji took you fishing, too? Yep, my Harabiji took me fishing, too. And let me tell you, there's nothing like watching the sunrise and eating ramen. Let's go. The pond is over there.